be fair, I was going to do this video in a few days' time, but because my tape is going to expire soon, let's see. Okay, it doesn't look too bad, actually. It's not horrible. As you guys can probably tell by now, I'm back at my house, my where I live outside of term time. I, I've not even done a proper intro. Oh my god. I've had a howl. How am I forgetting to do the intro? Anyway, yo, what's good, everyone? Shamans, welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, as you can tell by the title of the video, we're going to be looking at my football kit collection. If you can even call it that. My collection in what is how many we got? Eight. Nine. Eight or nine football kits. I wanna go through them, what they mean to me. And yeah, I thought, you know, why not do a little video? It's been a, it's been a while, it's been a little minute. But anyway, yeah, make sure you guys like the video if you guys enjoy. Um, make sure you subscribe as well. I'm trying to get to like what six hundred subscribers by the end of twenty twenty four. Currently we're on I believe 455 before this video goes out. So yeah, we can get there. Hopefully we can get there. Push it, share it to your friends. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Sure, so we're gonna start off with one of my first ever football kits. We've got the 2011-2012 Man United home kit. Now, I know what you're thinking, Shams, are you a Man United fan? No, no. We've cut ties with that football club completely. I've made my loan move to Leicester permanent, as you guys can see here. I'm not sure if you guys have me on social. Some of you man might, some of you man probably don't. But I recently announced that I am making my loan move permanent. I'm joining Leicester City Football Club, bro, for the 24-25 season. Now, I was there out on loan from, what, like, November to uh, May of this year, and I had a whale of a time. But anyway, back to the actual football kit. What, 11-12? Rooney in the back. Now, for some reason, don't ask me why, but the kit just has the name <laughs> and not the number. I think this was the, these were the times where you had to pay, like, £2 per letter slash number. I'm not sure what my mum was doing. She just got the, the name, not the number. But yeah, no, very sentimental kit. Rooney had the skinhead, I believe. OG kit, Wayne Rooney was my favorite player back in the day. I even had the T90s. If you know, you know, I'm gonna put them in here. So to keep it in chronological order, as kind of makes sense to do that way, I'm gonna go for the next kit that I have of that time period, which is the 2011, 2012 Denmark home kit, which, which Denmark wore in the 2012 Euros in what, Poland slash Ukraine. Now, for those of you who don't know, I don't know how you don't know this at this point, but um, for those of you who don't know who are probably new to the channel, uh, I, of course, I'm Somali heritage. However, I was born in Denmark. So during like international tournaments, I'll, don't get twisted, I'll support England, but then, you know, I'll also like back Denmark as well. And then following on from that, same season, I've got the 2011-2012 Aarhus Gymnastic Forning full name there, see that? My linguistic arsenal is crazy. I can speak Danish, English, Somali, bit of Arabic. What can I do? But anyway, yeah, this is the football club from the city that I was born in in Denmark, basically. Aarhus. I went to visit there in 2018 for the first time because I came to the UK literally when I was very, 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 very young. So, yeah. Come on, if you can see my hand in the mirror. Yeah. It's more than that, even. But yeah, I, that's when I came to the UK. The team. How good are they? Like, how can I compare them in English football terms? Like Newcastle, potentially Everton before they just went. But yeah, now this is probably one of my favorite kits of all time. Honestly, the 2015-2016 Man United home kit. I had Anthony Martial on the back, number nine. I even had the Premier League badge on the side, but of course, wear and tear. The badge is gone, and it was the OG Premier League badge. The Martial bagged in the FA Cup semi-final. United won the FA Cup final against Palace bro yeah good memories ah it's you man see the way I loved Martial man I'm check it out you guys can't really see it because it's inverted but yeah look bro anti de Martial it's sad that he's left you know uh, it's making me kind of emotional all right come on come on we got I got a video to record all right next kit I've got is 17 18 Dortmund away now this kit is cold the only bad thing about it now, similar to one of the other kits that I mentioned earlier on in the video, I've outgrown the kit. Of course, I bought that like, what, five, six years ago now. As I said, I'm a grown man. My body goes through changes, so I can't really wear it anymore, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, one of my favorite kits, I can't lie, before I outgrew it. But this one is for all of my Jamaican viewers, if there are any who are watching this out there. The 2021, 2022, Ajax third shirt, the Bob Marley inspired thing. This was cold. This is cold. It was such a hard struggle to try and even find the kit to buy it online. But you know, a guy knows a couple of men. I shouted them. I think the only bad thing about this kit and the kit before the Japanese one 
is that all the the new the new play Adidas kits they're all slim fit. Now I don't mind that, but like I, I kind of miss the old thing where you know kits would actually be not even baggy but just a bit more loose. I kind of miss that, but I guess we have to move with the times. I really like it the the color. I like the way that it has it with the the colors like a kind of V-neck thing. And, and the sleeves of the shirt have the, the Jamaican colours on, of course, as well. All right, my personal favourite kit in the collection, because it just looks so nice. It makes it look like I have wham arms whenever I wear them. The Japanese kit, I want to say 2022, 2021, 2022. Yeah, bro, this kit, it gives me very fond memories. You know, back, if you guys have been watching me for a long time, of course, you guys know that I went to Durham, um, left, like, dropped out, basically. They came back for this academic year. Now during that time period where I was unemployed, three months from October 2022 to like Jan of 2023, bro, obviously I was not doing anything with my life at this point. The World Cup was on as well. So I used to watch, what, remember them times when there were four games on from 10 a.m. to like 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. even. I was watching every single one of them games consecutively. I didn't even leave the couch. It was crazy. Now of course Japan bored out of that World Cup. I think they beat Germany, they beat Spain. They got to the last 16. I was rooting for Japan, bro. I was rooting for Japan, bro. You think I'm Japanese. Honestly, the way I was rooting for Japan. We're coming up to the end of the collection. Of course, now, unfortunately, this kit is another Man United one. If anyone in Leicester is watching this and you know me, and you got a spare XL kit, Leicester, lying around, just shout me in it out. I'll pay you good money. 2022-2023 Man United away kit. Finished third in the league. Carabao Cup. I was sold a dream. Ten Hag football. I remember this was the season that I actually got my membership. I started going to games for the first time when I got the scarf. We beat Barcelona in the Europa League, beat City at home, Carabao Cup final, won it. I feel, I still feel cheated. I'm not even gonna talk about it too much because we're gonna make this video from a seven minute long video to like a 20 minute long rant. Okay.